this proper in. Given the one night stay requirement for couples, desirable climate, and of course, the stunning scenery, Gibraltar has always been popular with couples looking to get married. And notwithstanding a couple of months break due to lockdown, this year has been no different. Gibraltar is a very popular destination for weddings. It's always busy. We've been, we've been busy since, since I've been working here since 2016. I haven't stopped. You know what I mean, you don't have to be a resident to be in Gibraltar uh, to get married in Gibraltar. You have to either stay the night before or the night of the wedding. Um, you know, that, that, that helps. Gibraltar is a special place. I mean, so people want to come see Gibraltar. John Lennon make it, and John Connor made it very popular. Yvette Kelly Siobhan McGibbon. Yvette Kelly Siobhan McGibbon. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. And sir, you may kiss your lovely bride. Woo! Um, so congratulations. Tell me, um, how, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> it's taken a while, so we were supposed to get married in May. So I wish we everything happening. It just didn't feel like it was real. Didn't know if it was going to happen this year or next. Because of COVID? Yeah. So it just feels a... I believe now, I can never drink. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the, the restrictions outside venues, it's what public health says, the bubble of 20. Yeah. We only have uh, capacity for eight people inside the registry office. If it's inside inside venue, it's masked on, as you've seen in the registry as well, masked on. You know, we also give them the chance to take a photograph at the end. When the ceremony is finished, I leave and they can take a couple of photographs without the mask. It's a special day. <laughs> okay. It's just a bit of restriction wearing the masks throughout the whole of the ceremony and pictures. But no, it's, it's been good. And why did you choose to rule to? Well, it's a lovely place and we, we wanted to do it somewhere different rather than back in the UK. <laughs> Perhaps not the weddings these couples dreamt of, but as William Shakespeare famously wrote, the course of true love never did run smooth. And in the case of these couples, not even COVID was going to stop them from taking the next step and making their love official in the eyes of the law. We wish them all the best for the future.